The UK's most prestigious film festival returns today until the 16th of October and it all kicks off with Roald Dahl's Matilda the Musical starring Emma Thompson tonight to tell us about some of the 163 films on show at the London Film Festival. I'm joined now by David Morricant from our culture department. All right, David, what have we got in store then? So much. It's, it's an embarrassment of riches for this uh, 66th edition and most of the films, most of the big films come from Cannes and Venice. So we've got both winners in particular, so Triangle of Sadness and the documentary which won in Venice, All the Beauty and the Bloodshed. Um, but we've also got a lot of standouts from the, from the festival like Alice Diop's uh, Saint Omer, which is brilliant, and Boy from Heaven uh, by the Swedish Egyptian uh, director Tariq Saleh, which is this very gripping spy thriller uh, set in a very prestigious Islamic school in Cairo and well there are so many more to mention Park Chan-wook's decision to leave and also this extraordinary debut film by uh, Goran Stalevsky uh, You Won't Be Alone which is a chilling and very lyrical horror folk tale which takes the iconography of um, witches and uses it to comment on the patriarchy and on metamorphosis and it, it's done in a truly mesmeric way. The festival also closes uh, on the 16th of October with the European premiere of Glass Onion, uh, which is uh, the sequel to 2019's Knives Out, uh, starring Daniel Craig. But also the, the, the key takeaway of this um, 66th edition is not only that they've really reached a, a nice balance between these enviable world premieres, including uh, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio as well, and these more indie gems and uh, smaller art house films, but also the fact that this year it's not exclusively limited to London. Another 10 cities in the UK will be participating in, uh, in the BFI's uh, LFF. You mentioned Daniel Craig there, of course, and Knives Out and the sequel. Maybe for some people he's better known, of course, as James Bond, but he won't be James Bond, of course, anymore. It's also the 60th anniversary of uh, the James Bond movies, but actually, I mean, just forgetting all about that, what I want to know about <laughs> is do we know any more about who is going to be the next James Bond? We know precious little, um, so I'm sorry. Uh, it will be the most closely guarded secret until it's announced and probably announced towards the tail end of next year. Okay. Uh, but there was uh, an auction last week, which finishes today in Christie's in London, which was auctioning off for 45 different charities, um, memorabilia, watches, uh, cars, and they hope to raise 3 million euros for these charities. And at the event, uh, Bond producers uh, Barbara Broccoli and Michael J. Walston obviously remain very tight-lipped, but they have made comments recently that might give us some indications. They've said that it will be a complete reinvention of uh, the franchise, which it has to be for anyone who's seen the last James Bond and knows how it ends, and also that Barbara Broccoli stated that it is a 10- to 12-year commitment. Mm. So the, she said in an interview recently that a lot of young actors want to be James Bond, but they don't really realise the commitment that it takes. So with those comments, we know that fan favourites like Idris Elba, Henry Cavill, Tom Hardy, they're all but ruled out at this point, purely because of their age, but also because they don't want to be held to uh, a decade-long commitment at this stage in their career. So I think it will probably have to be a younger name, maybe Bridgerton's Roger Jean Page, Eternal's Richard Madden, but by and large, if your name is in discussion, it probably won't be that name. So a reinvention, will hope, which hopefully will take a bit of a left-field turn, but so far, we just don't know. 10 to 12 years, what are you doing in the next 10 to 12 years? What David? are you <laughs> doing in the next 10 to 12 years? <laughs> Officially putting my hat into the ring. Brilliant. <laughs> David okay. Murricand from our culture department. Great to catch up with you as ever. Thank you. Thank you.